A group under criminal investigation by the Charleston Police Department for allegedly violating a needle exchange city ordinance is seeking to secure more than $100,000 in grant money to expand harm reduction efforts in the capital city. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Rubin has been following the developments with that group, SOAR, since she first reported on the group's off-the-radar needle distribution back in October. Tonight, she has much more on what SOAR wants to do with the money and the group's efforts to become certified by the state. SOAR said in its grant application plan submitted in mid-October that it would distribute 312,000 needles over the next year and collect at least 200,000 of them as part of their street outreach program. They want $150,000 between the two grants, but they can't get the money unless they're certified by the DHHR. Right now, they're not, but a decision will soon be coming from the state as the city continues its criminal investigation. But just two and a half weeks Weeks before that investigation was launched, a city official wrote a letter supporting SOAR getting the money. These two grant applications lay out the blueprint for SOAR's plans to expand harm reduction in Charleston. The grants also serve as requests to be a state certified harm reduction program. If they become certified, they'll be one of only three needs based programs in the state, meaning regardless of the number of syringes returned, there's no limit on the number of syringes a participant can receive. SOAR wants to primarily use the money to buy a van to expand their twice monthly mobile program that operates out of parking lots on the city's west side and east end. They also say the funds would be used for supplies and coordinators. In all, they're hoping to secure $150,000 they say is desperately needed to help the thousands of IV drug users in Kanawha County who are at high risk of transmitting hepatitis C, HIV, and other infectious diseases. But right now, it's a waiting game on whether or not the state will issue that certification. A continuing police investigation has paused their distribution events. In a previous interview with Eyewitness News, both Mayor Amy Goodwin and Police Chief Tyke Hunt agreed SOAR was in violation of the city code on needle exchange. It is not illegal. You voted on it last time around. It is not illegal to have harm reduction if you have certification from the state of West Virginia, because you've had a harm reduction program going on forever at Health Right Take, for instance. Um, but it has to be approved by the state of West Virginia and or, and I keep saying and or, it actually is, or you get approval from the chief of police. So it's actually not illegal, but you have to have permission. Certification is not a requirement to operate a program in the state, but Hunt made it clear in this letter to SOAR that he wouldn't consider giving them permission in the city while they're under investigation. We have a large amount of speakers tonight. Charleston City Council has remained largely silent on the polarizing topic, even though public speakers passionately for or against SOAR have consistently been at every city council meeting since the 1st of November. Ashley Switzer is one of the residents who has repeatedly voiced her concerns about SOAR to council and the mayor. It's the dishonesty, the deception, and in my mind, um, they forfeited any kind of seat at the table at all. Others have urged city officials to support SOAR's work as HIV cases in the county rise. Infection related HIV infections in Kanawha County more than tripled over the first nine months of 2020. By any epidemiological definition, this constitutes an outbreak. SOAR says it was driven to start its program after the shutdown of the Kanawha Charleston Health Department's needle exchange in 2018. City officials at the time deemed it was dangerous, mismanaged, and causing an excess amount of needle waste across the city. I kind of thought back to um, the whole Kanawha County Health Department and that um, debacle, because um, I was a teacher at Piedmont at that time. Um, and we had to go out on the playground. We found people on the playground. We found needles on the playground. We found human feces on the playground. Um, sometimes the kids would find it before we did. SOAR did not respond to emailed questions that included specifying when the group started distributing syringes in Charleston and how many had already been given out and returned. The grant application said they plan to hand out 312,000 over the next year to at least 1,500 people. As part of a requirement for the grant applications, SOAR attached several letters of support. 
One was from Mayor Goodwin's Coordinated Addiction Response Effort Director, Emily Hanna, who wrote that she was pleased to support SOAR's application for grant funding, going on to praise their naloxone distribution programs. Hanna and other city officials have not replied to repeated questions, including if Hanna was aware of the contents of the grant application that included that detailed design for the group's program now at the center of a city police investigation before issuing the city's letter of support. SOAR has since urged the state to certify their work, saying they hope to get through the, quote, bump in the road and get back to full services as soon as possible. In an email to the state's harm reduction coordinator, SOAR feared that if certification was further delayed, it would continue to see fewer clients, move fewer doses of naloxone, reduce HIV testing and treatment, and continue to risk more fatal overdoses and the spread of infectious disease in Kanawha County. We take a much deeper dive into the issue and what's been going on behind the scenes when it comes to harm reduction in the city on our website, WCHSTV.com. There you can read through emails, documents, and information we've gathered over the last two months. Reporting in the studio, Leslie Rubin, Eyewitness News. By the way, that story you just saw came up tonight at Charleston City Council meeting with some council members questioning Mayor Goodwin on where the police investigation stood and why the issue seems stalled at the city level with no action taken since it was first discovered back in October that SOAR was distributing needles within city limits. They said their constituents have been asking them what's been happening in response and expressed their desire to meet with the mayor or other members of her administration to get a better sense of what's going on. The mayor then agreed to host that meeting. Now that we know that they were doing this in the city, there's the video, there has been no retraction of that support. They weren't certified. They were doing that against our ordinance. They weren't certified by the state. Why have we not exercised a retraction until we finish this investigation? At the end of the meeting, Mayor Goodwin said she wanted to put together a team to discuss harm reduction in Charleston.